What's up, guys? It is Thursday, January 18th. It's 10, 14 a.m. And this is the crypto market update. And this is going to be brief and straight to the point. I'm going to cover basically what I'm seeing with Bitcoin and my thoughts on the market for the next couple of weeks here. The odds of Bitcoin having a, a more substantial correction are increasing. The, the probability of that is increasing heavily, I would say at this point, we've touched this three day 21 moving average multiple times here. And looking at the past times, it's done that momentarily after like maybe in the the upcoming week or two, you usually break it and then you start to hold it as resistance. And then you come down to touch the bottom void line until then you find your bottom and then you bounce back up. So I'm expecting maybe we can get a Bitcoin dead cap bounce here where we see Bitcoin pop back up to 44K, maybe a little higher, 46K. But then ultimately, I do see us rolling over and going into the 30K region. And how altcoins react to that remains to be unseen. Initially, I would say that they're going to get, they're all going to get hit initially. So we'll probably see a bounce out of altcoins, a good bounce if Bitcoin can have this dead cat bounce up here. But and what I'm doing is I'm staying cautious. I'm going to be exiting positions, altcoin positions, day trade positions on that dead cat bounce, and maybe probably looking for low leverage shorts on Bitcoin if it gets up to those levels there. So that's kind of my strategy and what I'm expecting out of Bitcoin and the altcoins in the short to medium term here. So I don't think we're going to have a huge crash and go to the lows. I think we're, we'll go into the 30K regions, which will be healthy for the, the long-term sustainable trend of this bull run. But I just wanted to put this video out there, get it on everybody's radar. Don't get heavily greased up. This is now a time to be cautious and start exiting positions as far as day trade goes and as far as some of your you know some altcoins like tia you know we're up 10x on tia since we initially got in and things like that maybe taking some cream off the top in preparation for uh, a dip to to buy it back lower so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm not going to be taking any of my spot positions off the table you know i'm going to be looking to exit my altcoin leverage longs positions on this dead cat bounce and then i'm only looking to short bitcoin upon it having that dead cat bounce and then seeing the momentum roll over so in the discord i'll be keeping people updated in real time when i make those when i exit my positions when i place that short and, and everything like that keeping people updated if anything changes as far as that thesis goes maybe we get new facts in the charts but as far as what i'm seeing the momentum we had that three day sell now come in we have that momentum curling over here and if we start to see you know this tsi really start to waterfall down and if bitcoin can't start to see that cross up here even if it does cross up and I, I think we'll make, and, and we make say we go up to 50K, uh, we'll put in some bearish divergence. Like even here, we put in bearish divergence. We have this high and then this lower high. We didn't even cross up on the TSI, but we made a new high here. So that's a telltale sign to me that we're definitely weakening this trend and I'm expecting a dead cat bounce. And on that dead cat bounce, I will be exiting my leverage long trades as well as placing a low leverage short on Bitcoin. So I'm going to keep it at that. I'm not going to go into all the dollar and you know, everything like that. Bitcoin dominance, I mean, it's it's on the hanging on a, the edge right now, but I'm expecting, you know, a little pop up before really having that waterfall moment. So I believe we'll have one more big dip before ultimately going into up only for these altcoins. So I'm preparing for that moment to strike on it and not get caught in the midst of it. So I wanted to let you guys know where my head it, head is at as far as Bitcoin. You know, it's looking like we'll pop up to that 44K, maybe 46K. And at that point, I'll be exiting my leverage longs and I'll be placing a low leverage short, but only a low leverage short once because if we pop up, we could keep going. If the momentum's there, I'll be looking to place that short once we start to see a sell now signal come in, which is going to insinuate to us that the momentum is rolling over. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be keeping people updated in the Discord on that and the market updates channel. So come join the Discord. And 
for the leverage trades, I'll be keeping people updated in Greece City on that for the VIP members. So that's what I'm seeing as far as that goes with Bitcoin. And then the altcoins total three, we hit our targets. I mean, like we're at this moment where we're calling back in October, imminent bull run to max 100 days because the ETF lead up and we had outlined the targets and we hit it for Bitcoin. We said 47 to 51K. We went up to 49K smack dab in the middle so we hit our target there and then with all the old coin market cap we hit our target there for the 2618 extensions you know i think we could potentially see a rollover to retest the top of the belly of the beast hit that 786 before ultimately going back up like that to the targets up there so that that's what i'm expecting so far at this moment but if anything changes i'll keep you guys updated in the discord i just want to get this video out make it simple straight to the point to get you guys prepared for that potential in the market. So there are there is some green on the board. They're starting to get more green, but a, a lot more red. With Bitcoin having to pop up through 43K, we'll likely see a lot more green come up on here. But don't get fooled. Don't you know go crazy because I do see a de one more dead cat, dead cat bounce before a rollover. So keep that on your radar. I'll be in the Discord and I'll see you guys in the next video.